What's poppin' YouTube? It's Trey Savage here today once again, and I have a, I have a item a item farming guide for you guys. This is a great way to get like a bunch of um, I'm gonna call it end game items, basically scatter bug, I mean um, scatter bang, smoke bombs, ultra balls, great balls, poke balls, and a bunch of grain cakes. These items works great on alpha Pokemon, even if you shiny hunting, it will work. So kind of a item farming guide on farming Pokemon, basically, if you would. But first things first, I don't know why I started in this area. We'll go back to the, uh, blah, blah, blah. We'll go back to Jewel Life City right now so I can show you guys where you need to head to. The area you have to head to is the um fourth area. The coordinate. I think it's a coordinate place. Yeah, the coordinate highlands. And you will need to unlock the summit camp to make this even quicker. I mean, you can just roam up there from another area, but summit camp is going to be the best bet to do. Like I say, you can get a lot of great items just for trying to capture Pokemon. I'm gonna show you the end screen, but I mean, I'm gonna show you what I got from um, farming this. But so basically, you want to do is go to the summit area, head to this camp. Also, by the way, you don't have to save. You can save if you want to, but if you're not doing anything else, if you're just farming the items, you don't have to save. Just save after you get a bunch of stuff. Anyways, you just want to run straight to the right, and you want to see this box. Just go ahead and open it. That box will give you five items. You just head, keep going, go forward. Watch out for these Pokemon. There are Luxios that could be around. If you want to make this a little easier, just do this at night because only like Haunters and Misdrevious pop up, which are way simpler. That box will give you five items as well. Now you want to come over here. Oh yes, yes, we got it, we got it. I wanted to show you guys this. This is the main thing. If this box is shining, you hit go. Oop. As you can see, if that box is shining, you always will get a golden nugget. That's why I like doing this. I mean, it's kind of hard. <laughs> you can see I'm getting beat up. But <laughs> um, it's real rare for a box to be um, shining like that. But if you do see a shining box, you will get a golden um, nugget. And that's only from the third box, though. I wasn't supposed to open those boxes, by the way. So I can show you guys what I had got. But anyways... This is everything minus um a few other items. But this was basically I got everything. You, like I said, you can get a gold and nugget from that last box. But all the you, all these items can help even like my one of the things I like is the sticky glob that you could get from um farming this area, which is I love that. And you can also get ultra balls. You get a bunch of cakes, grain, bean, honey, mushroom. You get some stealth spray, you get cast fern if you need those. I mean, this is just a great area to farm. And like I said, it took me like about 15 minutes and 49 seconds to get all these things, give or take a few items I just collected. So once you collected the area, easiest thing to do, like everything else, talk to the professor. You just want to reset the area. By resetting the area, I don't know if it's just for this area because I haven't tried this farming anywhere else. I just accidentally stumbled across this and was like oh that's pretty cool so all the items that's in the area just automatically resets i'm pretty sure that's for the other like map area so if you're trying to farm like for something say if you're trying to find um farm for glowing rock the best place is just find a camp near a glowing rock and boom just farm it but right when we get to the map all you're gonna do is just go back to what you were doing now, like I said, those two bigger, but the two first box drop five items and the last box drop three items, but it will change if you do fight a Pokemon, because if one of these boxes have a Pokemon in it, it will either be a Hisuian um, Voltorb or a Hisu, I mean, a Hisuian Voltorb or a, um, a Rotom, and they will drop, I, I'm going to say between maybe seven to 11 items, because my max I did get was 11 items. But like I said, there has to be a Pokemon in a box for you to get a 11 items. Oh, 
in this one, I'm pretty sure for Pokemon in this one it gives you more items, but I, I don't think it's a golden nugget or anything like that. Did you just see that Luxray attack me? <laughs> Should have Okay, as you can see, it did drop me a few extra items, but I did get a few more items from the Lux Alpha Luxray, but it does drop more items that if there's a Pokemon in the box. Now, if you, um, say if you don't need any of these items and you want to do the farm, just sell the items. I mean, that's all I would do. If you don't need it, just sell it. I mean, <laughs> best way to do any, I mean, do with any extra materials in the game, just sell it. Like I said, one thing is that if you can get it once, you can get it again. So, I wouldn't hold on to anything. I'm just going to show you guys one more time. This quick, easy farm. Just, you know, I like to show you guys that it actually works. Just want to go back there. Summit camp. Wait till you teleport pop in. Boom, we're in. You just want to run there. Hit all three boxes. Watch out for the wild Pokemon. And you're good. See, five items. I, um, one time I thought I only got three items from the box, but I might have been tripping because the things was going too quick. But I'm pretty sure it's always five items. Don't forget this box back here. Like I said, if you want to make that area a little simpler, just do it at night because the Lux Seals won't be there. But the Alpha um, Luxury will always be there. Now you just go back and you reset. Once again, I want to show you guys all the items you can get from this area. Give or take a few items because you won't be getting no, um, I know you won't be getting no experience candy and no grit dust. That's basically it. Everything else you will begin. Like I said, to get a nugget, you have to get a glowing, no, a sparkling of the third box, not the first two ones, the third box. And everything else should just come from them, come from the boxes. That'll be it to this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what items you get, or if you get lucky and farm this for a bunch of nuggets, because it can be possible. You just got to get lucky. Um, like and subscribe the vi like the video subscribe to my channel have a good day peace out stay tuned